Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Sang Muk Cho, postdoc and co-PI of this project. And uh, this uh, project PI is uh, Professor Brian Thomas. Uh, we are from Department of Mechanical Science and Engineering at University of Illinois. Our project uh, has been conducted with the Illinois General Project uh, location. Today, uh, I'm going to talk about transient water physics uh, simulation on blue waters and their application into improving continuous steel caster. Before starting showing our research achievement with the blue waters, uh, I would like to uh, express uh, thanks to our collaborators. Especially, we greatly appreciate uh, NCSA for Blue Waters uh, Illinois allocation, which have been allowing us to keep doing our research project. And uh, our the other collaborators uh, at University of Illinois and NCSA, especially thanks to Dr. Taha and uh, Professor Corrick. Also, thanks to NCS for Fluent HPC License and Continuous Casting Consortium at University of Illinois and Continuous Casting Center at Colorado Scroll Mine. And also thanks to the two National Science Foundations. This slide shows our recent publication Acknowledging Blue Waters. We have published over 10 papers and currently there are several papers in preparation and under review. Now I'm going to talk about our research with the Blue Waters. Uh, this slide shows our research domain, continuous casting of steel process. In the continuous steel, uh, continuous casting process, picture the left two figures. Molten steel flow from the ladder through the mold, uh, through the tundish, and finally into the mold. Molten steel should be protected from the exposure to air, so we pour the slag on top of the mold, and also we use the ceramic nozzle between the vessels. Oh, sorry. Also in the mold, the molten steel freezes against the mold surface by the water cooling systems. And uh, this shell contains the liquid as the shell goes through deep into the bottom regions. And as you know, steel has been a most widely used material in our life for manufacturing car, ship, and constructions. And with this process, steel companies produce over 95% steel in the world. So even small improvements uh, on this process can have a large impact. For example, there are many defects uh, on the product produced by the continuous steel casting, right? Bubble defect and uh, non-metallic inclusion defect. So, we tried to understand the mechanism of this defect formation, and based on the studies, we tried to improve the, uh, this, product, uh, this process by uh, suggesting some uh, optimized, optimized uh, caster conditions. However, harsh environment uh, make uh, experiments difficult, so competence modeling is an essential tool to understand uh, and improve the process. There are numerous uh, physics phenomena which should be considered in this, uh, in this process. Uh, we put the argon gas uh, to prevent the nose clogging in this side. Sorry. So we should uh, consider the turbulent multiphase flow and heat transfer and uh, solidification of molten steel and uh, interface motion at the top in here and uh, nucleation and collision and the break of uh, sometimes uh, coalescence of uh, bubbles and inclusion and uh, transport and removal of their motions and uh, thermodynamics 
and deformation and stress and uh, finally we should also consider the magnetohydrodynamics MHD. Among the physics phenomena uh, explained in previous slide, there are uh, some important phenomena directly related to the defect formation. Firstly, as shown in the left figures, uh, instability at the liquid mode flux and the molten steel uh, by several mechanisms, uh, nine mechanisms. Uh, this can uh, entrain the liquid mode flux into the molten steel pool like this and sometimes like this. And this make the finally result in the surface or internal defect. Secondly, argon bubble make the mode, flux, uh, mode flow more complex and the uh, bubble may be interrupted uh, with the non-metallic inclusions by uh, solidifying steel shell and finally, we can find the, these defects like alumina cluster defect and alumina dendrite defect and bubble with the inclusion defect. And the other defects are meniscus freezing and hook formation affected by superheat transportations and fluid flow. They affect the steel solidification and produce some crack issue. That's why we should consider the oral uh, the defect to prevent the uh, problem on the final product. To quantify the, the multiphase phenomena and defect formation in the continuous caster and improve the process for better quality final product, uh, computation modeling is the essentially needed. Uh, because the lab scale experiment and the real plant measurement has uh, critical limitation to understand the phenomena in the cast. That's why we should uh, consider the computational modeling always for our project. And uh, our domain uh, for the process has a huge size. And uh, we should uh, consider the very small size length scale is around one millimeter to understand the phenomena. That's why we have been conducting the supercomputing using the blue waters. And we have been applying two kinds of the CFD programs. First one is a commercial CFD program, uh, NCS front, and the other is uh, in-house uh, multi-GPU-based code, uh, CO flow. With the two programs, we applied the, the model as follows. Uh, LS and the lens for the turbulence models and uh, VF and the Lagrangian particle model for the secondary models. And uh, we also consider the MHD model and heat transfer model for the solidification and uh, heat uh, and super heat flux distribution. And uh, finally, we also use the particle capture model based on the local force uh, uh, balance on the each particle. Uh, CFLOW was uh, developed by Professor Banker and the co-workers uh, at University of Illinois to solve the governing equation for 3D domains and the particle transport, uh, equation, uh, transport equations and the uh, interfacial model using the LES and the MHD and VF models. And the uh, data transfer between nodes was uh, accomplished by uh, three steps using the MPI process. And uh, as you show in this slide, uh, uh, flow has been tested uh, on Blue Waters node uh, with, uh, and uh, good speed uh, uh, has been obtained. Uh, for the 30 second simulation using the LES, uh, uh, on the, our lab computer we spanned over uh, it's like five months, and, but uh, using the blue words, so we can decrease the calculation time like two days for the uh, 40 million cells. Also, we have a speed up breakthrough for ANSYS front simulation uh, with uh, using the seven nodes on blue words, and we got uh, over 3,000 uh, 
times faster than our lab computer. So this uh, speed of breakthrough makes us get much more efficiency for much uh, finer mesh domain and uh, with considering more uh, process parameter that uh, enable us to have uh, numerous cases to understand the phenomena and to suggest some uh, optimized process conditions to our uh, project members. Uh, with the sea flow and front on blue waters, uh, our several research projects have been conducted. Our research objectives are like this. First one is uh, to get insight into multiphysics phenomena related to defect formation and uh, suggest the uh, optimum process condition to improve the finest product quality. Uh, topics are like this. First one is the effect of nose port angle on transient void flow and uh, uh, molten steel and the slag interface model uh, motion. And second one is the effect of uh, submergent steps of the nozzle on the mold flow. And the third is argon bubble transport and uh, capture in the mold with uh, uh, EMBR using the LES coupled with the DPM, that kind of the uh, Lagrange particle tracking model and the particle capture model. And uh, also we uh, conducted the transient mold flow and the superheat uh, transfer on solid vines to shell using the LES coupled with the heat VF and the heat transfer model. Uh, this slide shows the general continuous casting domain, including the tundish bottom part and the nozzle and mold and strand. Also, nozzle has a various port angle, as you show in case one and two, upward angle, nozzle port angle, and the downward angle. And uh, this uh, domain uh, has the uh, hexahedral cells. This slide shows the effect of a nozzle port uh, angle on transient mold flow and the slag interment. Both two cases show the uh, jet wobbling phenomena. So you can see the jet sometimes go up and sometimes going down. However, uh, with the upward angle nozzle port case, this case showed a more severe up and down in the casting direction. That's the very bad uh, uh, phenomena for the continuous casting to product the uh, good quality final product. Due to severe jet wobbling with the upward angle nose port, liquid mold flux and the molten steel interface also show the severe instability. Sometimes we can see the slag interment and this uh, slag going into the uh, bottom region. We also compare the surface velocity component between our LS model prediction and the measurement, which is the very important factor to understand the uh, process uh, situation. Uh, black line showed the, our plant measurement and uh, other, red, uh, other blue and uh, uh, dot black line showed the LS prediction result. So those are uh, well matched with the measurement. Also, with the, we found that also with the upward angle nose port, uh, more surface velocity fluctuation occurred uh, at the surface, right? This than the downward angle nose port case. This caused by the jet wobbling phenomena in the mold, uh, which was shown in the uh, previous slide. These are four videos to show transient uh, slag and the city inter interface profile in the mode on front view. That's the uh, wide face view. And the uh, side view, that's the uh, narrow faced view for the both cases, upward the nose port angle case and downward the nose port angle case. Uh, for the up angle nose case, the severe level fluctuation show over the 10 millimeter on wide face. This is a very large number in point of view uh, for the controlling the process. 
this can cause uh, uh, slag interment into solidifying tissue. The other process parameter, some steps of nozzle, is also investigated. We found that increasing uh, some adjustment steps decrease the top surface velocity in the mode. That's the good sign to, to produce the uh, high quality product. And the other way to control the mode flow is uh, employing electromagnetic system. And uh, steel is a conducting material. So magnetic field externally employed by system induced the current. And that finally, that produced the Voronezh force. This slide showed one of the electromagnetic systems, uh, W ruler, electromagnetic braking system. So there are two rulers. And on this position, we can see the uh, higher magnetic field peak. According to this magnetic field peak, we get the higher uh, Lorentz force to uh, break the, the jet flow into the mode. We also uh, studied the uh, effect of the EMBR on the uh, argon bubble motion. So with uh, the EMBR, so right case, uh, left case showed without EMBR, and the right case showed with the EMBR. So with the EMBR, less bubble reach the narrow face. Here's the narrow face, and the less bubble go into the mode. Uh, it's showing these two videos. So that's the uh, good sign to uh, understand that EMBR leads the possibility of the argon bubble capture into the steel shell, so less uh, uh, surface and the internal defects form. And uh, this slide shows the temperature distribution in the mode. And uh, this uh, temperature distribution is also a very important factor because uh, this carbon solidification in continuous caster. And As shown in uh, these two videos, uh, transient flow pattern and uh, transient uh, temperature distribution are correlated to uh, each other. For this case, uh, due to the spread jet flow pattern in the mode with the uh, upward nose port angle case, superflux distribution is bigger on wide face than the narrow face. And uh, so meniscus freezing and the hook formation can easily occur on corner region, right, this region. And uh, finally, we can get the hook formation uh, defect, and this defect is very bad uh, to capture the bubble. And uh, finally, we have the big uh, defects. Uh, let me summarize the talk. Blue Waters uh, company has been applied to quantify the complex uh, multiphysics related to the uh, defect formation, including the turbulent uh, multiphase flow, particle transport, capture, MHD flow, and uh, evaluation of uh, several uh, process parameters. And uh, Blue Waters resource uh, using the ANSYS front and uh, multi GPU code C flow show modeling uh, capability breakthrough showing great uh, speed up for high resolution and huge domain simulation for continuous caster. Uh, thank you for listening.